The Georgia Bulldogs have had a first-round player on the defensive side of the ball in five of the last six draft classes. This year, it's Kamari Lasseter looking to continue that streak and establish himself at the top of a very crowded cornerback class. Let's break down his game on this two-minute drill. Lasseter thrived in Georgia's defensive scheme, allowing just 16 receptions, 177 yards, and no touchdowns on 41 targets throughout the entirety of the 2023 season. He showed proficiency playing both zone and man coverage on tape. He's a very instinctual corner who gets in and out of breaks quickly. In man coverage, he does an excellent job of mirroring the receiver, sometimes even seemingly running the route for them. While Lasseter has just one interception across his three years at Georgia, he has shown the ability to play the ball at a high level and disrupt the receiver at the catch point. Lasseter's ability and run support is probably the best in the entire class. He can trigger downhill quickly, isn't afraid to throw his body around, and demonstrates excellent tackling for him on a consistent basis. Simply put, the guy is a playmaker. That being said, I do have some concerns that popped up while watching Lasseter. As I mentioned, he's a playmaker, sometimes to a fault. He has a tendency to gamble and try to jump routes or overcommit to an angle and run support. He also sometimes gets caught with his eyes in the backfield. While I think the potential is there, his technique and press coverage isn't good enough to be relied upon right now. His jam at the line of scrimmage is inconsistent, and when he does get beat, he defaults to grabbing the receiver. Lasseter also is not going to blow up the combine. He's a good athlete, but he won't put up the numbers that some of the other top corners in this class are expected to. My comparison for Lasseter is Jalen Johnson of the Chicago Bears. Neither of these guys are mind-blowing athletes, but they have the ability to impact the game through instincts and technique. I think Johnson was a bit more refined in press coverage coming out of Utah, which is the key difference between the two players for me. With Johnson coming off a monster 2023 season, this feels like a very lofty comp, but I'm looking at Johnson the prospect, not Johnson the All-Pro. I think Lasseter could fit into most teams without much issue. He's shown proficiency in both man and zone concepts throughout his college career. It's tricky to nail down scheme fits with defensive coordinators and head coaches on the move right now, but I could see Lasseter thriving in the systems Atlanta, Baltimore, and New Orleans have been running. There's still a long way to go until the draft, but I do believe Lasseter belongs in the top tier of cornerbacks. If he does not have a poor showing at the Combine, I think he'll be the next Georgia defender selected in the first round. And that's the two-minute drill.